Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Leopardstown Racecourse here on Sunday. It is February the 3rd, 2019. Going to look at the stakes races on the program from Leopardstown, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. Um, excellent card of racing today from Leopardstown, so we're going to look at the stakes races, the graded races, races 2, 3, 5, and 6, so the 115, the 150, the 3 o'clock, and the 335. So let's get on to it. The second race, the 115. It is the Grade One Tattersalls Ireland Spring Juvenile Hurdle. It's going for a purse of $144,000. Races for four-year-olds only. Field of 11 horses going 3,200 meters or two miles over the hurdle course. Top selection. I'm going to go to the eight horse, Sir Eric. Going to go eight five nine in the Tri Cash Trifecta. Eight five nine Tri Cash Trifecta. Top selection eight horse Sir Eric gets Walsh up in the saddle for jo uh, for Joseph O'Brien. Four year old called by Camelot. The horse's most recent outing, his first over the hurdles came or the jumps came the 27th of December at, here at Leopardstown. Two miles in a ju juvenile maiden hurdle, uh, and, and the horse just won by a neck there. He jumped well, closed up well. He won by small margin, but it was a very good effort first off over the jumps. His pedigree looks nice here. He looks like he'd be a good stayer, but uh, right now they're trying over the jumps and he's. He's did, he did well over his first uh, jumps race. Before that, though, he uh, ran at Ascot on 20th of October, two miles in the Group 2 British Champions Long Distance Cup. He ran a decent third place finish by two and a half lengths behind Stradivarius and Thomas Hobson. You know, closed up well. He stayed a distance. It was a very good run there. And then a few weeks earlier at Limerick, a mile 9 16 and listed stakes. He won by four lengths, and he just quickened up nicely on the front end. Very easy race. And then he went. He broke his mane at the curve very easily. And, um, like I said, I think he, uh, he should really do well here today. Um, what kind of horse you want to bet maybe in the um, in the staying races over the summer, over the flat, but right here, I like him a lot, so I'll take him as a top selection. The odds suck, I know, but uh, to recap my selections for the second, the 115 from Leopardstown, it's the grade one Tattersalls Ireland Spring Juvenile Hurdle. Gonna go with the eight horse, Sir Eric. Gonna go 859 in the tri cast trifecta. To race number three, the 150. The 150 from Leopardstown, it's the grade one Chanel Farmer Novice Hurdle. It's going for a purse of $144,000. Races for five year olds and upwards. Field of nine horses going 3,200 meters or two miles over the hurdle course. Top selection, I'll take the one horse. Araman. I'm gonna go one nine three in the Tricast Trifecta. One nine three Tricast Trifecta. Top selection the one horse Araman. Six year old by Mon Sun here. Uh, Paul Townen gets leg up for Willie Mullins. The horse is most recent out. It came the twenty seventh of December locally here at Leopardstown. Two miles in the grade one Patty Power Future Champion now this hurdle. The horse won by ten lengths there. He jumped well quickened up great run and it, it was a very easy race there it was an improvement off the race before it came at fairy house two miles December of the second in the grade one royal bond novice hurdle he finished third by seven lengths there and he just couldn't keep up at the end it, it just wasn't the day to win and then at navin two miles in the grade three for auction novice hurdle he won by three lengths at eight to one he upset and he just ran a hell of a race there first off the break you know he was running over the jumps over the summer he um you know broke his maiden and at uh, on the 11th of august going two miles and a half in a main hurdle, one by eight lengths, easy race there, and then after that he uh, ran at Lismore, two miles in a novice hurdle where he finished second by one quarter lengths, the winner ran that little bit of a better race, but he did jump well there, I think he'll get around the race course well here today, so I'll take him, again, another race, that the odds suck, two to one, I'm not trying to pick these uh, short uh, priced horses on, on purpose, but, uh, you know, Sometimes you have to, but to recap my selection for the third, the 150 from Leopardstown, to Raid 1, Chanel Farmer, Novice Hurdle, gonna go with the one horse Araman, I'm gonna go 193 in the Tri Cash Trifecta to race number five. So we're gonna head over to race five, the three o'clock, and it is the Grade 1 Flogus Novice Chase. It's going for a purse of $144,000, races for five year olds and upwards. Field of eight horses going about 4,200 meters or the distance of ground of two miles and five eighths over the chase course. Top selection. I'm going to take the number eight horse here. La Bug Roy. Pardon me if I mispronounced the horse's name wrong. Um, my French is horrible. And uh, when I watch the replays of the races, I usually listen to it without the. Um, 
the sound on so yeah so i don't get the pronunciation of the horse some of the times but i'm gonna go 817 in the tri cash trifecta 817 tri cash trifecta top selection eight horse leberg aroy this uh, richard johnson warren great hex trained eight-year-old mare by dr dino this horse um is most recent outing came on boxing day at kempton three miles in the grade one quota star novice chase he won by one and a half length and at eight to one he jumped well and just destroyed the field it was a very good victory there you know before that he ran newberry two miles and a half in the grade two ladbrokes novice chase and you know cutting back from the race afterwards well whatever he, he won by seven lengths there and again he, he just won easily he won with the other rivals but it was a very easy race and then a beginner's chase at uh, newberry two miles three quarters in early november and the horse won by one and a half lengths again he quickened up nice he just destroyed the field you know he has started here in ireland in the past last year but that was over the hurdles in the three mile stairs hurdle at punchestown there he finished third seventh by 34 lengths behind Fahim and Penil. You know, he just t did not like uh, Punches Town. The ground was too wet for him, and he just did not do well there. And then he ran in the uh, at, at the festival at Cheltenham back last March. He ran in the uh, Grade One OLBG Mare's Hurdle, where he finished seventh by thirteen lengths. Weaving out of it, and never was getting around Sheltonham well, but he did win uh, the OBG, OLBG uh, Mayor's Hurdle at uh, Ascot last January on, uh, on Clarence House Day, where he won by 16 lengths very nicely. His chase races have been run very nicely, and I think he can get a piece fit here, so um, I'll take him as a top selection. So to recap my selections for the 5th at 3 o'clock from Leopardstown, it's Rain 1 Flogos, Novice Chase, gonna go with the 8 horse, gonna go 8 1 7 in the Tri Cash Trifecta. So let's get to the featured 6th race from Leopardstown, the 335. The 335, it is the Grade 1 Irish Gold Cup. It's going for a purse of $259,500. Race for 5-year-olds and upwards. Field of 10 horses going 3 miles over the chase course. Top selection, I'm going to take the 6-horse, Mano Lee. I'm going to go 691 in the Tri-Cast Trifecta. 691 Tri-Cast Trifecta. Top selection, 6-horse, Mono Lee. The 8-year-old going by Milan here. Robbie Power picks up the mount on this one for Henry de Bromhead. The horse's most recent outing came 28th of December here at Leperstown. Three miles in the grade one Savile's chase. The horse finished seventh, second by seven and a half lengths behind Kemboy. He jumped well, just need that extra kick, but you know, he, he did well there off um, a, a six and a half week break a two month break um with a little bit of a quick turnaround today i think he'll run well before that he ran at down royal on third november two miles seven sixteenths in the grade to my uh kerndiza.com chase the horse finished third by six and a half lengths there and he just couldn't get around down royal it could be a little bit of a tricky course and he just did not like it and then a punches town last april three miles one sixteenth in the grade one uh, champion novice chase he didn't finish that day he fell a few from home what can you do and then the rsa novices in chase at uh, Sheldon last uh, spring. He finished second by seven lengths behind presenting Percy. This horse, there was nothing bad about that run. You know, he he, he was just second best. He, he ran well there, and then he ran this race last year and won by three quarters in length. But this year, he's, you know, last year he didn't come into the race well, and he, but he won it. This year he's coming to the race a little bit better, but he still runs these weird races every few starts. I hope it's not going to be this race, but, um, you know, I think he could uh, really get a piece of it. So, um, I'm going to take him here at 8-1. It's going to be my price play of the day from Leopardstown. But to recount my selections for the 6 to 335 from Leopardstown's grade one Irish Gold Cup, gonna go with the six horse Mona Lee. I'm gonna go six nine one in the tri cash trifecta. So good luck to all and please follow me on Twitter at horse racing kit five. Good luck everybody.